Hey, it's uh, Mike Bickamer with Bickamer Electric. Um, today I want to go over how to troubleshoot a flickering light problem. Um, when your lights are flickering, it could be um, several different issues. Um, so you kind of want to start with the simplest and then uh, go from there. Um, one issue it could be is if there is a bad connection at the socket. Um, so you want to unscrew your light bulb and um, the, uh, the part that makes contact, there's a little tab inside of your socket and that's what make con uh, makes contact with the, the light bulb. And um, sometimes when you replace light bulbs a lot, you screw in the light bulb um, too tight and that tab gets compressed in there. And so what happens is um, it's not making good contact and then there's, um, you know, arcing and, um, you know, when you turn on and off your light switch, it could cause your lights to flicker or even you could be blowing through your light bulbs um, <clears throat> at a rapid pace because that arcing is just damaging uh, the lamp. So what you want to do is, uh, number one, turn off the light switch first. Um, you know, most times that'll kill power to the fixture. Uh, there are cases where there's a hot wire uh, that goes into, um, you know, your light fixture and then, um, you know, down to your switch. If you're not sure which one you have, uh, just go to your breaker box and, and flip off the breaker and turn off the circuit completely. But once you have the breaker off or the switch off, um, you just take a screwdriver and um, you stick it in their tab, a flathead screwdriver, and you stick it in your socket and you push that tab out so that makes it makes good contact um, with your light bulb. So that's the first step. Um, another thing you can try is if you screw it back in and, and you're still getting flickering or you're still going through light bulbs like crazy, um, you can uh, uh, you want to check your switch and um, you know make sure that you still are getting a good connection at the switch uh, sometimes a faulty switch um, will, will cause um, flickering in your light bulb so um, while you're doing this you know well let me let me uh, start with the third problem um, if you notice that your lights uh, will come on and then after a while uh, turn off and then a little bit later they'll come back on again what's happening is you have a heat sensor in these cans and um, you know these old incandescent and um, you know sometimes even halogen um, light bulbs that you use in these cans um, they get really hot and if there's insulation around the cans in the attic or wherever it is and 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 this can is heating up that sensor is going to kick on and um, that's why it's turning on and off your light it's like a safety feature uh, so <clears throat> what I recommend doing is you know just replacing the light bulb with an LED bulb um, LED, LEDs don't uh, put off as much heat and um, that should solve your problem. Um, what I've noticed a lot of um, homeowners trending to is switching to this LED trim. Um, it's all one piece and uh, it looks really sharp in the house. Um, you can see with the old ones you got the trim and then the lamp and uh, you can kind of see up in there and sometimes even see all the way to the recess can. So. Um, how do you change that? How do, how do you switch from this to that? Uh, what you want to do is first, it's, it's really simple, you, you just you take off the light bulb and then you take out the trim. Sometimes you just, you know, you do it with your fingers here. It's usually just connected to the can, the top of the can, or there's ears or tabs inside the can that you know, uh, that these things just slide in and out of. Um, you know, sometimes they're attached up here with the springs. If you don't have springs, 
um, you know, sometimes you'll have a bracket that attaches uh, to the ears of the inside of the can. So I'll give you a better look at what I'm talking about here. Uh, so there's the tab I was talking about on the sockets um, that you want to push out. And, um, you know, the ear, there's the little ears. Uh, it's hard to see with my finger there. Um, that, you know, the trim attaches to. Okay. So, so then how do you attach this guy? Pretty easy. These guys just pop in and out. Um, you know, they just slide in and out. They're connected to the ears as well. And you basically just kind of pinch it, pinch the middle parts. And, um, um, you know, those just go in the ears and then they slide up. And uh, these LED trims, they have a quick connect on them, so it makes it really easy. You notice I just, this orange piece here just connects to this orange piece, and um, you know, it's just a matter of it sliding it inside the can then. Um, and this quick connect just screws into the can like a regular light bulb. Uh, so it's real easy to do, and um, you know, there's really nothing to it. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot. Bye.